so as we sit here right now and chat, you are completely retired from wrestling, right? I, I, I'll say, yeah. I, well, you know, um, yeah, as, as of today, I would say yes. You know, but if, if somebody called me and, and I, I'd be totally lying to you if I said there wasn't a niche or uh, I, I could still go. And I, I just like to keep doors open, you know, don't burn bridges. If you're going to burn one, blow it up. And, you know, my connection to that world, it's been such a, at, at times it's been like a, uh, a, you know, being married. Sometimes it's just that love hate relation. My wife's going to watch this and be like, you hate me. <laughs> no, it, it's just hard. You know, it, it's hard. And, um, but I, it's such a, a deep rooted piece of who I am and what I come from being a third generation wrestler. My grandfather and grandmother were wrestlers, my father, you know, and so I, I leave that door open, but yeah, I, it'd have to be the right scenario for me to get in the ring again. I think that unfortunately a lot of people assume that when they don't see you on WWE television anymore, they just assume, oh, that Ted got released. That's it. You know, he must have got released or fired, which is not the situation at all. They wanted to keep you around and you decided that yeah. you didn't want to stay. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> I was offered another five year deal, uh, was generous. And, um, and when it came down to it, you know, I was, I was battling internally, you know, some things, uh, personally, uh, that is, it's a lot easier for me to talk about now, you know, m mental health issues. It's a big topic, you know, going through some depression and anxiety, but also being a new father, I just knew, um, I, what I didn't have growing up, you know, although I had this iconic father, you know, <clears throat> who I love dearly and is one of my best friends and still a hero of mine. Um, he wasn't there at my birthdays. He wasn't at any of my football or soccer games. And, you know, I believe the greatest asset we have in this world, most valuable asset is, is our time, you know, mm -hmm. because you can't, you're not guaranteed more and you can't get any back that you've used it. So how we use it is very important. And that was one of the greatest gifts I could give my son, you know, who had been born 2012. And so with no plan, I left <laughs> and it, it's, we're, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. But yeah, no, that wasn't uh, – I thought I was going to wrestle and have a, a really long career, and that was kind of part of the, the vision in the, in the first place. But um, I really believe that it's not what we, you know, do that defines who we are. It's who we become along the way, and it's what we do with what we've been given, you know, the platform. And, and so being there, it was like I spent a lot of time focused on myself and how I could climb that ladder of success – and what I realized was that's not who I am. You know, mm -hmm. my core values as a man, me personally, is faith, family, love, wisdom, service in that order. And, you know, um, and I was kind of dying internally and, and really losing sight of who I was because I, I love helping and serving people. You know, that's what makes me feel alive. I, I've loved entertaining people, you know, and be being that, you know, the WWE hired me and gave me that opportunity to be able to walk into a hospital, like a children's hospital or, or a, on a base, you know, and like bring a smile to a family or a kid that's hurting or a, a, a veteran who's a hero of mine that's been wounded and, you know, just wants to forget for a few minutes. That was such a blessing. So seeking to do a lot of that, a lot more of that now. So what was the conversation like with WWE when they present you this contract, as you said, gen generous contract, and you basically had to say, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. Uh, there really wasn't a lot of back and forth, you know, I think uh, at that time in my career, it was, um, and, I, and kind of part of me thinks that maybe I thought I'd just come back, you know, and go figure this out. But uh, that really wasn't the case. Um, you know, I, I haven't looked at, it. I can't remember what they said, but it wasn't the, the usual best of luck in your future endeavors. You know, I, I got one that, cause I, I quit on Twitter <laughs> or YouTube. I, I did a video and I announced, you know, cause I wanted yeah, it's, to go it's out still on Twitter. Before. If people want to check it out or still yeah. on YouTube. Oh, okay. And yeah. so, uh, you know, that was, I just wanted it to be me, 
you know, uh, letting the fans know how grateful I was and WWE, how grateful I was, but also I was walking out on my own accord, you know, for, for personal reasons. So there wasn't uh, there wasn't any back and forth, you know, so I don't, there's tons of guys sitting in the wings that, you know, yeah. can take these spots. And that's what makes that world really difficult to get into and even harder to hang on to once you get that spot. Hey, it's Chris, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my brand new YouTube channel, CVV Clips. As the name suggests, it's a place where I'm gonna post clips from some of my favorite interviews. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out these videos right here. YouTube thinks you might like them.